evolutionist claims that since these backwards copying viruses are inherited, they will always show up in the same genetic location. Then they search for herbs in chimp DNA that are located in the same spot as those found in human DNA, claiming that any such herb is proof that we have a common ancestor. And as a matter of fact, indeed, 14 of our 98,000 human herbs are found in the same location as our 14 chimp herbs. The evolutionists then proclaims that this discovery is irrefutable evidence in favor of evolution. But is this the entire truth of the matter? I'll bet you guessed it is not. First, a retrovirus injects a small strand of RNA into a cell where it splices and backwards copies itself into the host DNA to become an ERV sequence. The ERV must occur in DNA pertaining to reproduction in order to be passed on to the next generation and current credible research reveals that herbs can move around after they have spliced into a gene. So the problem is this. Evolutionists simply ignore the proven fact that herbs can move around and then they assume that an inherited herb will always show up in the same genetic location. So then they search for ERVs in chimp DNA that are located in the same spot as those found in human DNA, claiming that any such ERV is indisputable proof that we have a common ancestor. So as it turns out, 14 of our 98,000 human herbs are found in the same location as our 14 chimp herbs. But this is only 0.00014%. This means that 99.99986% are not the same as the chimp DNA. Well, gee, stated like that, it puts a whole different light on the matter, doesn't it? Also, since the average herb only contains 500 base pairs of genetic data, whereas a single human cell contains 3 billion base pairs of information, additionally, and very, very interestingly, there is also much current research that indicates that ERVs are really retroviral promoters or genetic switches in the human genome. And this research suggests that herbs may regulate human transfer of genetic information on a very large scale, actually serving a very useful purpose, apparently by design. The study of endogenous retroviruses is a fascinating and very complex science. There is much hype and much information in the world of cyberspace regarding this topic. The evolutionists have attempted to capitalize on many people's misunderstanding of the true science of this subject.
it splices and backwards copies itself into the host DNA to become an ERB sequence. Thank you.